I love what Doc Martens has been doing in modern times. I love uh, their progressive nature, their progressive spirit, and I just love that we're finally getting back a made in England with a Bex soul. So, without further ado, here are the Oxblood Capto Quilon Leather Bex 1461s. I asked for these, I wanted these, I absolutely love the Bex soul. I think that for me, the Bex soul is truly uh, a classic. I think that um, in regards to more of a, I don't know, it just gives me the stride when I walk. The Bex and the Ripple are by far my, my favorite in regards to modern, even though uh, Bex has been around for decades. But I love the current implementation of the Bex. So this is the first one. Like I said, this is it. This is the first one and hope the, hopefully the first of many. And what did they do? They made it with a cap toe. Man, I know you've heard me say this in previous videos. My love for Doc Martens with a cap toe. It, it's just the first, it's very nostalgic. It's the first vision that I've gotten uh, uh, when it comes to Doc Martens. And, uh, you know, I collect them at any point that I get. I think the last made in England cap toe that I have or that I was able to get was between uh, 2014 and 2016, which was the made in England cappers. So like the made in England cappers, they have the triple stitching here on the cap and they just fit awesome. Uh, they don't, they have the ones with a cap toe or ones with steel toe have a little bit more room in, in the in the toe box than what we could expect from other of the vintage collection. Now the vintage collection, I don't want to go too far into this, but the vintage collection was something that came came on in the mid 2000s and by 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 no means is the vintage collection vintage. It is not vintage. Uh, now if now, if, as far as determining how many years make something vintage, there is tons of argument about this, but I think for most of us in the Doc Martens fandom, culture, and community, I think we can all agree that vintage would be pre the big change, uh, pre when uh, our rigs, when, uh, when the sale happened, and uh, everything shifted and most of the manufacturing, even though done with the same machines and the same uh, um, training is done overseas, uh, this is anything pre that I would call it vintage. So 20 years, I would say. So they closed down the Cobbs Lane factory for a while and they were able to reopen it. Reopen it in a kind of boutique -y kind of way and also uh, bring bring jobs back to that area and I, I've personally been in that area and that area is a shoe manufacturing town so that's that's fantastic and because they can do that they can work a little bit slower and then they can do collaborations on other fine material but the first thing that they took on is is they created this leather that that closely pays tribute to what we have seen in the past with Doc Martens. And this leather has been coined as Quilon leather. Quilon leather is not old. It is not old. So uh, if you think that you had a pair of Doc Martens with Quilon leather back in the 90s or in the 80s, um, respectfully, you are mistaken. It, it is a tribute leather to that leather before. And the difference is where it's sourced and how it's processed. So it is a variant of it. Uh, and this and this changes. And, and honestly, all leather can change based on this. You know, but, but then we have companies like CF Steed and Horwin that get these different processes and they nail it down 
So even though obviously we're dealing with different cows that um, is a byproduct of factory farming, again, Doc Martens does not kill any animals in order to make their shoes. It is a byproduct. And when the day comes personally that this changes and they have to do that, uh, because of the you know change in consumption of meat, and we'll, we'll see how that changes things. But for now, it is a byproduct, and uh, you know we don't you know nothing goes to waste in this case. I digress. So, cap toe, fourteen sixty ones, awesome. So we got uh, three eyes on each of them, and look at this, it's absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, fantastic! Look at the triple stitching on the cap toe. In this case, we have more of a goldish welt stitching on them. And we have uh, not the Puritan stitch, but the standard stitch that we end up seeing on the 1461. And as we see in most modern made in England's inside, here's the inside, which I think has its pros and cons if the size rubs off, we don't have that branded uh, inside to go with. But uh, there is a size that is embedded in the actual sole, which I'll show in a second. But behind the tongue, Doc Martens, comma Docs, which a lot of people get confused about, uh, but it is part of the trademark that they own. Yeah, man, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So the sole, Bex. So Bex is pretty much your your traditional commando sole. It's not something, commando sole, sole. It's not something that Doc Martens invented, so it's not the original, and that's why you don't see the original on there. But um, it is a commando sole with more height. So that's it, it's a chunkier commando sole. And if you are thinking about going Jaden's, or uh, you just you want some height or you don't or you just you, you just want to kind of like test the waters this is a good middle ground uh, I find this this is perfect for me I personally don't want any more height uh, this kind of meets me where I want to be so the sole density on Bex is what you would expect in modern Bex it's great I mean it's it, it is higher so it could give the illusion that there's they're uh, denser, but it is as bouncy as the original. Uh, but as I stated in the beginning, it's it really guides my pronation. So if we look closely, we end up seeing the eight in there, which is a UK eight. Uh, so that's uh, one way, another way of finding the size, uh, which ends up being pretty tricky when you go to do um, buying on resale. If you have that experience, you can relate. Confirming size uh, can be tricky. So, cap toe, 1461, Quilon leather, Bex. They are available in this oxblood and in a black. I, um, I got the oxblood, uh, even though I have some rad oxblood shoes, these really screamed at me. And uh, I, I enjoy it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thanks. If you liked the video you just saw or wanted to add something to it, go ahead and uh, click on the like and the comment button uh, down below. Also, if you want to keep up with all the videos that I create, subscribe. And then once you subscribe, you can tap on the bell, and then you'll receive an email. Uh, so you're always kind of in the know. I mean, you watched it, right? So... I guess you liked it. You got to tell the, you know, algorithms what to show other people and what people are interested in. And besides that, I need validation. I need to know that I'm making something that people actually enjoy and want me to continue making more of, right? What do you think, Cherry? Yeah? Think they should do it? Yeah, she thinks so.